New snow can make it tough to safely navigate our frozen lakes like this one in Chanhassen. We've already seen a handful of people put their ATV or snowmobiles through local lakes. So how can you make sure you're safe on the ice? Here's John Lordson. Oh, it's great. I uh, love taking the kids ice fishing. They're always into it and you know, enjoy it. There are parts of Lake Minnetonka right now where the fish are really biting. Oh, lots of walleye, um, sunfish, even a couple uh, northern, so it was a good day. There's a solid 10 inches on Lake Minnetonka where these anglers are fishing, but conditions vary across the lake and across the state. And you want to see at least four inches of clear, solid ice before stepping foot on the ice. And five to seven inches are needed before you take an ATV or snowmobile on a frozen lake. Ice chisels are recommended to check the ice first. The DNR also wants people to carry ice picks and even wear life jackets in case the worst happens, knowing that more and more people are heading outdoors during the pandemic. With more snow on the way, the DNR says snow can hinder ice making. It acts as insulation and keeps ice from forming. The size and depth of the lake also matter, as do unseen currents below the ice. Sheriff's departments are responsible for thin ice signs, but Water Patrol says it's best to approach each excursion with a mindset that no ice is completely safe. People are ready to have something to do, so they try to get out too early, but you just got to wait and be safe. I know people get anxious to get out there and stuff, but you got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to be safe. On Lake Minnetonka, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The DNR also recommends 8 to 12 inches of ice are needed for a car or small pickup and 12 to 15 inches of ice for a medium-sized truck.